how to create a simple clear water flow direction map in five minutes using ArcGIS. The following data is being used the ground surface, elevation, and static water level, the hydraulic head. can see this is the arrangement of the data that will be important to the ArcGIS environment. Save the file in CSV format. So this is the ArcGIS software, the ArcMap. Go to settings, coordinate system, to world, WGS 1984, right click on the layer again, go to properties, then we'll keep it in degree mini second, and click add data, then we we'll have to navigate to the we have save our data. So you can see the file GWF. So next, we have to go to. So yes, it has come out. You can actually see that we want to export the data to convert it to a shape file. So we'll save it to our to our file. We have to save it in the in name we will recognize. Clear water flow direction, that is the abbreviation I use. So you can see it's not in shape, I have to keep it in shape file. And I click save, OK, exports. So I have to remove the the previous information and you can see the, I want to I want to label you can see I've labeled this I want to create the study area that the shape of the area that I'm going to work with so next I'll right click on layer go to convert graphic to features So I have to save the save it as study area study underscore area. The automatic delete graphics after conversion. So we change it to um, the next thing is for me to go to spatial analysis tools. Go to interpolation. I go to IDW to import the file. Then we'll choose the static water, uh, the hydraulic head. Then we'll go next to environment, as processing extent. You click the area shape, shape file, the area of study. Then we'll go to go to Special analysis will do the same thing, study area. The environment, click OK. Also, to save it. We are saving the file where we are going to see it. Then click OK. Then the rest, the rest of the data will come out. You can see. So you can see the range of value that, that they are. See the range of value 13.5 to 13.64. So go to surface. We want to create the contour. Go to click on contour. Import the file will take a range value of 0.1 because of the differences between 
the range of the first value, the range of the values. So that is why we are actually doing that. So you can see the contours have appeared. So the next thing we have can off it and change the color to black. So, so the next we have to do is to go to window, go to search, and write direction or linear direction. So you click on linear direction. I see the linear direction with the we can see linear direction with so we publish the file to so that file then we click OK. So you can see the direction that the water, the groundwater is flowing towards. Moving from north to southwest. So what we have to do, we have to prepare the various layout in a way that it will look nice. I see. We want to print a shape file. The neighbors connect the three boreholes, which serve as monitoring well. Can see start editor so you can see now it windows so I have to click on ball one connect ball one to ball connect ball one to ball two from ball two to ball three which will also give us the distances of from one point to the next. So, so we click save and click stop. So we are done with that. So the next thing we have to do, we have to change the color to red so that we understand what we are doing properly. So for further analysis, we have to arrange the, the layout for it to look beautiful and put the necessary components that need to be done in that place. So you can see the layout view, trying to prepare the layout view. Trying to make it beautiful at the ending of the day. So right, borehole. It brings 
I think that's the best fit color for that. So you can see. So you can, can see the whole thing trying to make it to be beautiful. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. How to create a